this is is called the crown tipped coral mushroom. Now, like I've mentioned many times before, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try getting a light on it, see if that gives you a better better shot of it. But if you could see closely enough, and I don't know if this camera will get a close enough shot of that, but at the very tops of those little structures is kind of like a crown with little little points sticking up off the top of it, or maybe like the uh, pinnacle of a castle. And that's the crown tip, gives, gives it its name, crown tip coral mushroom. Uh, this is a very good edible mushroom, although these are rather small and kind of kind of turning brown a little bit just because I think they're they're drying up a little bit got some rain earlier in the week but it's been dry now for a few days and pretty warm so it's drying up but it still may be good enough to take home and eat I'll do that but hopefully at a later date I will get you a better shot of some some younger fresher specimens. I'm going to give you one more shot of this crown tipped coral mushroom under the light and they like I said they are a little bit dry but not so bad that I not so much that I think they'll taste bad so we're gonna cook them up along with some others. Another example of the crown tipped coral one's a little larger and a little more yellow in color. But very, very fresh and in very good shape. Pretty pleased about that. There's a tiny little cluster of corals in there. It's drying out a little bit. Those are the crown tips though. I see even a larger one up here. So these are obviously, like I said, the crown trip crown tip variety grows from wood, so these are obviously growing from submerged dead wood here. some coming up over here. These are nice and fresh. Beautiful fresh specimens. Very very nice. As you can see when I cut them they do grow from a central yeah, not really a stalk but where the mycelium comes out of the, the material that it's growing in. But branches off from there. Got some crown tip coral mushroom. Some older here. It's dried up. That's a nice. Nice little specimen. One more look at the crown tipped coral. This one's a little yellower. Okay, I'm cooking up those crown tip coral mushrooms. Didn't amount to much, but I, I washed them out in a strainer. And Shailene is going to try them and see how they taste. Okay, here's what they look like all cooked up. Shay's going to try it. Be a little warm. It tastes really good. Not much different from some of the other mushrooms but I like it. Okay good. Okay here I have some crown tipped coral mushrooms that I had dehydrated and this is a first for me I've never I've never tried dehydrating and rehydrating coral mushrooms before so again I don't know exactly how, how well they'll, they'll do. There are some mushrooms that do better than others at reconstituting and uh, retaining their, their flavor and their texture or regaining their flavor and their texture I guess. Well they sure do smell good. 
I love the smell of dried mushrooms. So I'm gonna try uh, rehydrating them and cooking them just to see how they do. Just uh, just a few little pieces. I would like to still keep some. So I'll just do that many there, and I'll let you know how they'll how they do. Um, there's one thing that I uh, I need to need to tell you now and then I'm going to show you a clip there actually is a, uh, a look-alike that is not considered edible for the crown tipped coral mushroom it's somewhat of a look-alike it's actually called the jellied false coral and it's actually the texture of it or the makeup of it is more like a more, I mean they look like a coral but they're more like a jelly fungus they're more of that kind of consistency uh, than they are the coral mushroom or the crown tipped coral mushroom I'm gonna show you a clip of that the reason I have to tell you about it now is because um, sometimes I forget when I have my waterproof cover on my GoPro that it doesn't pick up audio so as I was showing you and talking about it it didn't pick up the audio that I was saying but anyway I'm gonna show you one that I found earlier this summer um, and one thing you'll notice is that it doesn't have the which you know you don't get to see very well on this camera but it doesn't have the the crown tips on the top of the the coral the little pinnacles that stick up like this even though they're really tiny um, the jellied false coral just has kind of bulbous round ends to the to the ends of the structures they're also much more flexible and jelly like the crown tipped coral mu mushroom is somewhat flexible but it's a little bit brittle too if you try to take the the structures and bend them too far they'll just break whereas the crown tip you can really I mean sorry the jellied false coral you can really bend a lot more so here I'll show you a clip of that Appears they have reconstituted quite nicely. I'm gonna fry them up and see how they taste. A couple things I forgot to say earlier about the false or the jellied false coral. One is that they actually grow in the dirt in the soil, whereas the crown tip coral mushroom grows from wood. Oh, that can be a little bit deceiving as you've seen from my video because sometimes they look like they're growing from the ground when they're actually growing from wood that's buried under the dirt. The other thing is that uh, the the jellied false coral is actually, it's not considered to be poisonous. You actually can eat it. It just, uh, they say it doesn't taste good. And I haven't tried it myself. Perhaps I will next year, but just to... Uh, just to see what it tastes like see if you can cover it up with some spices or something like that but anyway the crown tipped coral has a wonderful flavor of its own so I much prefer to stick with that anyway I'll give these a minute or two and then I'll see how they taste reconstituted well I've got to say that they are not bad after being rehydrated but they have lost quite a bit of their flavor that they have when they're fresh. I definitely prefer them to be fresh. Um, but it's just nice to have them in the winter or at a time of year when they don't grow naturally. So I'll probably continue to dehydrate some, but uh, more often I will probably eat them fresh when I have the chance. So anyway, hope you get to know that one. I uh, hope you get a chance to enjoy it at some point. Thanks for watching.